Shortly after the passage of the Edward M. Kennedy Serve America Act with a huge bipartisan vote in the Congress, uh, and after Senator Kennedy had left uh, Washington because of his health, I was driving through rural Kentucky and my cell phone rang. I almost didn't pick it up, but I picked it up and uh, on the other line was uh, Senator Kennedy who said, uh, Bridge, remember my brother talked about uh, passing a torch to a new generation. I said, yes, I was only three at the time, but I, I remembered later. Uh, he said, well, we really blowtorched this thing, didn't we? And laugh, this booming laugh, which I'll never forget, of a man who had done so much in life uh, that he did not fear death. And I literally think of that story every day because this was the moment in time uh, captured in his name, his legacy, after a lifetime of, of public service uh, in the U.S. Senate where millions of Americans um, now and in the future will have an opportunity to do exactly what Senator Kennedy um, did over the course of his life and wanted more Americans to connect to, which was the transformative experience of serving something much larger than yourself and giving back to the country that protects the very individual liberty and ideals that enable us to um, uh, live in a spirit of human flourishing. And I just want to um, add my uh, thanks and it's a privilege to honor someone who has inspired me since I've been a young man and continues to inspire our nation through the legacy of the Edward M. Kennedy Serve America Act.